There are a lot of different careers involving animals, and in this one, the animals do the job. They help relieve stress and anxiety. Take a look at these pups. For this week's Contro Careers, I spent time with four friendly pups to see what it takes to be a therapy dog. And the first thing that dog must have is instinct. You don't make a therapy dog. The training and all that gives them the experience of the different type of things they have to deal with. But if the dog doesn't have the natural desire and feeling to be a therapy dog, it's not going to work. Once the dog turns one and it has the temperament to become a therapy dog, it must pass the K-9 Good Citizen program, a prereq for most therapy dog groups. The things for a CGC are pretty common sense, healing, sitting, those type of things, stay, uh, and they walk over crinkly paper and things like that to make noises and uh, just be a calm dog. That's, that's the CGC part. After the dog is a canine good citizen, it then goes through additional testing with a therapy dog organization. Tom Maurer, the dog's owner and trainer, recommends Therapy Dog International. They'll, they'll take uh, something that simulates a bedpan dropping on the floor in a hospital and part of the training is they'll do that behind a dog when a dog's not expecting it how does that dog react that's the key they can be startled but then immediately recover and oh yeah that's what it was the testing puts the dogs through different situations to see how well they react to things like noise or food on the floor therapy dogs again are trained to deal with all sorts of circumstances and deliver that calm easy steady pace as you can see the dogs here today are totally relaxed Certified therapy dogs visit places like hospitals, schools, old age homes, and libraries. Uh, just being there so that person can hug them, can pet them, and uh, relax. Take that stress out. Mauer says for more information on your dog becoming a therapy dog, visit tdi-dog.org.